There's a light show going on in the waters and it's intrigued scientists for decades. Over 75% of all creatures in the ocean have evolved to use a chemical reaction, whether it's made in cells in their body or by symbiotic bacteria to attract, warn, communicate, even disappear. Scientists are kept in the dark about this phenomenon. Well, as they need to be. G'day folks and welcome to the Wow Factor. The magic of bioluminescence. What is it? How does it work? And what is it used for? Well, it's a very handy tool when you're living anywhere from 200 meters or more down in the ocean, or for that matter, if you come up near the surface at night to hunt for food. Bioluminescence is the production of light by an organism through a chemical reaction when a substance called luciferin is oxidized. In the ocean, it is usually blue or blue-green, but it can be nearly violet, green-yellow, and not so frequently, red. The light is produced by bacteria within light-emitting cells called photophores. A photophore is a glandular organ that appears as luminous spots on various marine animals such as fish, cephalopods, jellies, or an algae bloom of plankton. Atola waivile is a deep sea crown jellyfish found in the midwater zone. It is a deep red in color, but when attacked, it flashes its bioluminescent bell to actually lure predators who are more interested in the attacker than itself. Hence its common name, the alarm jelly. Anglerfish use a modified dorsal fin ray called an elysium as a lure to tempt their prey to come within striking distance. In the deep dark depths, they've had to evolve lures that light up. In a symbiotic relationship with bacteria, the fish supplies the bacteria with nutrients and the bacteria provide the fish with the light needed to attract prey. Like a moth to a flame. Viperfish use bioluminescence as counter-illumination. They have photophores along the ventral side of their bodies. The purpose is to closely match the light emanating down from the surface, making it difficult for predators to spot them. This species can also have bioluminescent lures, usually at the tip of their dorsal ray and some below the lower jaw. The firefly squid possess three types of photophores. There are up to 1,000 small photophores covering the surface of its body. Five large ones around the lower part of each eye, and three very large photophores at the tip of the fourth pair of ventral legs. Some creatures in the ocean have adapted bioluminescence as a smokescreen defence. The cuttlefish, for example, can expel a bioluminescent burst to confuse a predator and make a hasty escape. Some species of fish seem to literally projectile vomit bioluminescence. The gossamer worm shimmies off a wonderful firework-like display of yellow bioluminescence. Color yellow is actually a rare phenomenon with bioluminescence in the ocean, which scientists are yet to understand. I find a lot of things in the natural world and evolution just amazing, but the adaptation and use of bioluminescence as a survival technique just astounds me. Anyway, thanks for dropping in today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give that like button a whack, subscribe, leave a comment. All that stuff really helps. And if you want to learn more about bioluminescence, I pop some links in the description below. And remember, look after yourself, look after your loved ones, and look after this beautiful planet we call home. See you next time.
If you want to learn more about buying it,